Good morning, friends. Hope all is well. Today, we're gonna to be talking about some things that I wish that I would have known before I started homeschooling. So if you're interested in knowing any of those things, then stay tuned. Before we get too far into the video, I did want to mention that this is a collaboration hosted by Daveen from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. I will link both of their channels down below, so please go say hello to them and uh, subscribe to their channels if you haven't done so already. I will also link the playlist down below where lots of other mamas are hopping on to let you know some things that they wish they would have known before they started their homeschooling journey. So thank you for being here. If you're new here, hello, my name is Erin. I am a stay-at-home homeschooling mom to three kiddos, ages 10, eight and four. We are on summer break currently, but we in the fall will be starting our sixth year of homeschooling. So today I'm going to share with you, not in any certain order, not in any certain way, just some things that I wish that I would have known before I started homeschooling. And these things are not things that I wish I would have known so I would have changed my mind about homeschooling or anything like that. Um, these are just simply things that I almost wish I could go back and um, kind of tell my, my earlier self in the homeschooling journey just to breathe a little bit, to lighten up a little bit. Everything is going to be fine. <laughs> so um, I think we probably all have those things that we have learned through out the years as the years have gone on as with anything else any job you're in motherhood in general being a wife a spouse you grow and you learn and you work as a team and so i am just here today to simply share some of the things that i have learned and areas that i have been able to grow in throughout the five years of homeschooling that we have completed and again, I'm not, I just want to say I am no expert in this topic. I do have a few years under um, my belt at this point, but in no way am I saying I have everything figured out to this point because I don't. <laughs> um, so keep that in mind as well. Um, I'm simply just here to share my heart and hope that I am able to maybe touch someone else that may be struggling or kind of dealing with the same, the same situation or thoughts or anything like that. So let's jump right in and these are probably my top things um i'm sure there's more these are the ones that come to mind first and have come to mind as i've been thinking about this topic and kind of dwelling on what i wanted to share so if anyone has anything to add or anything to say to any of these points please don't hesitate to leave them down below i would love to hear from you and get to know you a little bit as well so the first one that I would like to mention is that I wish that I could go back and tell my earlier self that you will gain more confidence in your abilities to teach and educate your children at home and your comfort level of teaching will increase. So that first year for us was, it was a, a little bit of a challenge. Easton was kindergarten, Eden was a newborn, um, we had started homeschooling a month, one month out of ever homeschooling and she was born. And so I had a newborn, a two and a half year old, and a five year old, and a five year old, six year old in kindergarten. And it was, it was, it was good. And I have really sweet memories of that year, but it was a little challenging. So looking back at that first year, I wish some I wish I could go back and kind of tell myself it'll be okay everybody will be good everyone will learn and um, you will be just fine and then the second one I would like to mention is um, this is something that hit me probably in maybe the third year of teaching um, when Zoe started to I had Zoe in maybe like first second grade and Easton would have been in third or fourth grade and there were certain times where I felt like Zoe was just not understanding what we were talking about as far as history and science and those types of things. And it just hit me one day and I was like, why am I stressing so much about this? This is not the first time that this topic is going to be introduced to my child. This is not the first time and this is not the only time. 
and I, I'm, I'm referencing things such as like early American history, the planets, um, biology things, like all of those things that to a first grader can seem a little overwhelming. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, even to me as an adult, I don't remember all those things either. So it just hit me. I'm like, you know what? I don't need to hammer this in extremely hard. Like we need to go over it. She needs a basis and an understanding, but we're going to do this again in a few years. This is not the first time and the only time that they are going to hear about this. So just chill out, <laughs> let them soak it in and grow with it. Third one, as we can all probably experience, as we have all experienced and testified to as a mother, as a homeschool mom, not every day is going to be perfect. In fact, most days, are never, oh, there's never a perfect day. Some days go smoother than others, but just because a day might be off and going bad does not mean you are failing. It probably means that things maybe need to be adjusted a little bit as far as schedule and timing. People are hungry, <laughs> somebody's tired, including mom. Um, it doesn't mean that you need to pack everything up and send everyone to school. It just means some things might need a little re-evaluating and that's okay too. As your kids' ages shift, as life situations shift, other things need to shift as well. And that's just part of growing and learning together. And uh, let's see, number four, Things that I have learned, one of these, this is a kind of a, a, a thing that you'll hear a lot of homeschool moms talk about. Um, a lot of people will question you about homeschooling and your decision to homeschool. Now, I have not had anyone up until this point be completely critical of me homeschooling my children. Maybe they've thought that, maybe they just haven't said it to me, I don't know. But I have never had anyone flat out say to me, you're silly, you're harming your kids, you're crazy, what are you doing? Um, honestly, I have found, and I have tried to be a little bit patient with this topic because I have found that people are, that they're naturally curious. They are naturally questioning usually because they are unfamiliar with the topic of homeschooling because they have never homeschooled their children their grandchildren have never been homeschooled a lot of people just automatically do not understand and they don't know why you would keep your kids from socializing with other kids shelter them at home um, keep them from all of the wonderful opportunities that can be available at a school and I understand all of those points I do but the the part that I try to counteract with and not in like a nasty critical condescending way is that I understand where you're coming from but these are the things that we're involved in and because we're not tied down to a strict school schedule it allows us to do these things and so I've learned over the years that honestly and and I might maybe I just have really good friends and really good family but I have not had anyone come down hard on me at all about homeschooling but I have had people be naturally curious and they just want to know more and I honestly I love talking about homeschooling and I love talking about kids and learning and that's what gets conversation flowing for me so I welcome I welcome the questions I have asked um, a friend of ours, uh, he's an older gentleman, uh, neighbor friend, and I just asked him one day, I said, and he had mentioned that until I met your children, I honestly had a very um, negative kind of understanding of homeschooling because he was thinking back to his children when they were younger. And he said, I honestly think that I would not have been able to be motivated enough to get up and going and actually make my children be productive and I thought that was a very honest um, reaction from him and I just asked him I said so so what are your what are your questions or what did you question before you met us and that was one of the things that he responded with and he said but meeting your family and meeting your children and socializing with your children has completely changed my mind and I don't say that in a prideful way but I just say that to um, encourage you to be maybe a little more patient if you have someone that is just honestly coming at you with an honest question. Don't try not to be super defensive and, and think that they're trying to attack you because they might not be. They might they might be curious and you might be able to um, entertain them with <laughs> some things that you can you can respond with. 
So that's probably one of the bigger things that I have learned over the years is just because it's my normal, it's completely not normal for a lot of people. And another top one is if you have questions along the way, just remember that there is usually always someone to help. There is usually always someone you can reach out to um, with your question. I would say every mom in this playlist that's down below, if you have questions about anything they mention or even off topic homeschooling questions in general, we are all here to help. I know that's why I started my channel was because throughout the years I have had friends and I still have friends along the way that have children that are a little bit older than mine. So they have kind of gone ahead of me in certain areas. And so I have one specific friend that I reach out to quite often with questions. Um, she's in Pennsylvania as well. So I reach out to her as far as state standard questions and things like that. Um, reach out to friends, reach out to someone at your church, search on YouTube, do a Google search. There's tons of homeschool moms that have blogs. Reach out to any moms that you can find here on YouTube in the comment section. A lot of times their email is in the about section. If you have any questions for me, feel free to reach out at any time and um, I will do my best to help you. And also I have had questions and I have honestly called the school district that we live in as far as the public school if it's been like a state standard question or a, a something regarding that I, they have been the secretaries at the schools have been super helpful to me I have not had anyone dismiss me because I am homeschooling or anything like that they do their best to help as well now even if they don't know the answer um, they have directed me somewhere else or they would be more than happy to help me as as far as they could and then they would possibly say um i don't have a full answer for you but here's someone else you can call or reach out to um so just remember that if you have a question there is usually always someone to help and always a way for you to find an answer to any of your questions and then the last and final thing that I wanted to mention is that I wish someone would have told me how wonderful all of the times were that I would be spending at home um, with my children. I feel so very blessed to be able to be home and being the primary educator and um, just uplifter and encourager along the way. And again, I don't say all of that to say that every single day has been perfect because it has not been. There have been hard days. There have been very good days, um, but you know, I feel very blessed to be able to grow and live life to the fullest, surrounded by my kids and my husband and all of us doing learning and life together and figuring out along the way how to communicate and work as a team and work as a family and um, just learn along the way. And that's one of the biggest um biggest blessings that I could ask for at this point. So I just wanted to share my heart with you. Again, if you have any comments to add, anything that um, you have learned along the way in your homeschooling journey, please mention it down below. Thank you all for being here and hop down and check out that playlist that I've linked down below and also say hello to Devine and Shauna from the links to their channels down below. And thank you all for being here and we will talk very, very soon.